Tonight, before you go to bed, make an inspection tour of your ice box. How's that Pabst Blue Ribbon Supply holding out? Tomorrow morning when your dealer says, What did you have? Say, Pabst Blue Ribbon. What else? Right. Right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hello Harm Podcast. I'm your host, Alex Luby, and I'm joined, as always, by the horniest of homies to sail the seven seas, Mr. Anthony Luby and Luke Farnsworth. And boy, oh boy, were we having some technical technical difficulties before technical the show. Technical difficulties. Show. I said, Te- hey, guys. Testicle let's... difficulties. <laughs> having some testicle difficulties. I said, let's start at 6. We got on around 6.15-ish, just the way it goes. And then, like, my internet was being funky i was being disconnected they were freezing they looked horrible i would just disappear my mic stopped working terrible times so we're treading on thin ice we were going to start at six it is now seven o'clock it is seven (laughs) o'clock yeah it took an hour 701 but what's the hello harm podcast without technical technical difficulties it is like exactly (laughs) technical difficulties i'm rubbing off on you no, cancel you're... the podcast. Cancel the podcast. It's over. It's We're done. done. I know we said we'd make it week. to season three, but I, I really don't think that we will. Season three is a haul, dude. Yeah. So close think, yet so far. I think season three is too far. I should change my colors because you guys are pink, so I want to be pink too. Yeah, it's Mine's pink really today. bright. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. I need to change my email to pink as well. That's like purple. There we go. Oh, boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh God. Well, you froze, but um, you're back. You froze. You I, froze. I, you I, froze. I, I am the issue. Christ, that's bright. Oh Luke. my God, you look that's like purple. a purple. You look like a. You look like a neon <laughs> highlighter. Here we go. Because <laughs> the lights like reflecting off your coat. I'm sure that. It's not a coat. This is my shirt. It's a, a shirt? shirt. Yeah, this is a shirt. Oh. I have nothing wow. on me. See, I can go. Ooh, and there's, there's like Teddy right there. Wow, 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 wow. Oh Boo-womp. fuck! It doesn't go back up. Boo womp. Yeah, technical difficulties aside. As a ruined jewel, how was the week? What's well, that? Was the week? I said they're still occurring. Like we just had one. Oh yeah, of course. What did I do this week? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what I learned in boating school is. <laughs> what I learned in boating school today is. I did go I to um. There's a board game bar here that was pretty cool. Called oh, Milestone. Uh, Milestone. Is it yeah. the one across from George's? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have, have you been cool. in there? Yeah. Yeah. It's you their, uh, there. Have you had their dogs? Fuck yeah! I got two dogs. Did you have their dogs, Luke? No. Dude, they're we, banging. We they're ate. So and then we went over to George's and had quite a bit to drink and then went over there and had more to drink. What'd you eat? I don't remember. I they it. have some of the most uh, interesting hot dogs I've ever come across in my life. All right. First off, you got to remember the last time I would have had the option of being there would have been well over a year ago. So oh, shit. When Luke, I'm just comes, saying... when Luke comes back into town, let's go get some yeah. dogs. Go to George's. Yeah, we can go to George's. And we'll, get, we'll go to George's with Andy, and then his dad will come in at a random time and buy us all around, and it'll be epic. <laughs> I got the the PB and J dog, and the Mexican what street the corn f- dog. What the fuck do you mean it the was PB good. and J dog? <laughs> it, was, it was good. It was the PB and J dog. It was busted. Dude, is that is that dog up in him? <laughs> He's got two dogs in me. He's got that dog on it. <laughs> One's gay, the other's gay, and now they're making out. Mm. It had like peanut butter, jelly, some honey, on top of a beef frank with the. Well, the interesting the thing about um, it, it's not like a bun. It's no, like it's like a piece of toast folded, toasted yeah. up real good. It, it's it really was slap. good. It was slap. Mexican street yeah. corn dog was was fire. They're was good dogs. Spicy? No. They're very good dogs. They're they're large too. They are a helping of food. It's a good size Frank. Like two is two's my max for for those hot dogs. I, I got I two. two. I think. I, I think the first time I went, like two was two was 
almost too much. No, no, like, well, I, I, I could have eaten a third. Could have got another PB and J dog. I'm gonna get overly <laughs> aggressive if you talk about the PB and J dog one more fucking time, dude. I Did, swear to God. Was there an option to have jelly or jam? No, it was just just PB and J dog. PB and M dog. And peanut butter and, and marmalade. No marmalade. <laughs> what is is marmalade orange? What is marmalade? Yeah, I, so. I don't even fucking know. I mean, orange marmalade is orange. Yeah. What is marmalade? <laughs> like, what's the difference between marmalade, jam, and jelly? I think marmalade's oily. Fuck oil. Oily. I think. Fuck. Fuck oil. <laughs> I don't know. Big oil's out here. What is Big marmalade? <laughs> <laughs> is a fruit preserve? Is a fruit preserve often made from citrus fruit like oranges? Okay, so what's so the could difference? you have lime marmalade? You could probably have lime marmalade. <laughs> what is like grapefruit what marmalade? What is marmalade versus jam? Jam are made from one type of fruit or vegetable, vegetable, whereas marmalade must <laughs> use a citrus fruit in its preparation. Why? Why do we have to change the name based on the type of fruit? Why can't it's it all just be jam? jam. Or have jelly. you ever had a vegetable jam before? Because I, don't I want haven't. Celery oh. jam. Mm. Do, can you like, what vegetables are typically made into jams? Vegetable jam. Oh, can you imagine a carrot jam? It's like not even clear, like translucent. It's just kind of like putty. Like tomato yes, jam. Yes, you can make jam from vegetables too. Thanks, myrecipes.com. I really disgusting. fucking hate Ew, you. What do you do with that? watermelon rind who the fuck is using what what if you tell someone you're going to make them a peanut butter and jam sandwich they're like oh uh, you sick. know i have i have heard of pepper jelly before it sounds gross really yeah it's actually like it's supposed to not be that bad it's um it's kind of like a sweet spicy which a lot of things do sweet spicy mm -hmm. so it's not like it's unheard of rhubarb i, just, I like rhubarb no rhubarb does fuck Caramelized onion marmalade. All right. What if you slathered that between two pieces of bread, gave it to someone when you told them you were making a PB and J sandwich? No, everything is throwing me off because now this is saying it's like you can make a carrot marmalade, but I thought marmalade can only be made from citrus. That's what it well, said. I gotta look at a picture of the carrot marmalade to see if it's what I actually thought it was. Is it actually marmalade though? It could be a jam. Do you? Do you want to know the top thing of what people ask for vegetable jam? What? Tomato? <sighs> Gross. That's making me sick looking at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Google Google says people who looked up this also asked, is jam a vegetable? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yo, I've never heard shit. of this jam vegetable before. Yeah, how do you, how does it grow? How does jam grow? Where can I is buy jam, jam seeds? Is jam <laughs> A vegetable. Oh man, we are going down the tubes. Thumbs up, I click this. What does it say? This, Jam this contains both fruit and fruit juice and pieces of the fruits or vegetables flesh. Why would they call it flesh? <laughs> Dude. Sounds like you're murdering the fruit. You know, we got on this topic because of a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, is jelly jelly because it doesn't contain parts of the fruit's flesh? Must be jelly because jam don't shake, dude. What if it do? <laughs> jelly versus jam. Wait, what do you jelly mean? is made of strained fruit juice. There are no pieces of fruit in jelly. Jam is made with mashed fruit. Are you guys a jelly or a jam type of fella? I like both. I don't think it really matters to me. I don't really prefer jelly or jam because they're mostly too sweet for my taste. All right, my so you palate. got a piece of toast, right? You have to answer one or the other. You have uh, Concord grape or you have strawberry jam. Which probably one neither because on. I'm choosing the blackberry. Is it a jam or a jelly? I think it's usually I think it's a, a jam. Gel. Is it a jam? Blackberry jam? I right, think so. It's a jam guy. Thorpe, what'd you say? Well, if... Well, is mixed berry an option? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Why mixed is berry. This conversation <laughs> right I now? just, I just want to know where we lie whether we like jam or jelly we just know we aren't I picking think. the marmalade no well, and especially you can have a blackberry jelly too 
Yeah, but or, I'd say typically okay, it's like, jam. Uh, flavors aside, do you like fruit in your spread or no fruit? It depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to choose unlimited games, games, but no games. <laughs> no games. We were, um, me and Amanda were watching some of the uh, Chuckle Sandwich podcast, and they were talking, they were rating the states in this episode. And um, they were talking about, because they're both from the East, one's from Massachusetts and Schlatt's from New York. And they were talking about, like, yeah, people out West, and for the first time, if you've never been to the East, there are a couple things, like, you got to, like, get, get realize that are normal. Like, everybody, uh, they kiss each other. And in Pennsylvania, the coal miners often they call it a coal, like a miner kiss, <laughs> where um they uh they touch tongues and stuff. <laughs> it's totally normal. Like if you do that, like it's just something that they do up there. <laughs> it was funny. Well, that was a West Virginia specialty. Yeah, it was. A Pennsylvania tongue kissing. Tongue kissing. Yeah, the coal miners in man, the that's mines. What they, that's what they do. In the mines, the children yearn for them. <laughs> the children yearn for the mines. <laughs> They use a lot of tongue up there. A lot of tongue in the mines. I mean, being from like the the northeast region, we can kind of vouch for that. Yeah, we're right next yeah. door to Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. They're really the miners there love there. tongue. Luke oh, is the east coast. Luke is the east coast. They I, rated I, Virginia I, very poorly. They rated Virginia F. They call me the east coast special. Whoa. They rated. We'll be. We'd be happy to know that every single person in the Hello Arm podcast made an F on their list. Oh, well, Ohio, Ohio got deserves an F. an F. Yeah, Ohio deserves. Surprise! An F. Ooh. Yeah, why, that did was. They give a reason why Virginia is an F. No, actually, it came up. So that's like, no, that's a fucking F, and they moved on. That was it. Okay, so <laughs> it was yeah. It. Very constructive schlatt. That sounds like a very schlatt move. Yeah, it does. I, I was. I, uh, I thought I'd get a higher rank. No, by no means. It's not an F. Mm, I give it probably a D. That's better than an F. <laughs> Why a D? You I might there. I might give it a C. Taxes are very high. Uh Alex, I'd like for you to go out to a restaurant, go to get, pay your bill, and then see a thirteen and a half percent tax on your fucking food bill and think, hmm, this is a pretty cool state, huh? Oh. Your tax rate is thirteen and a half percent. On per on uh Prepared food on prep food is a thirteen and a half percent tax. That's Why? fucking never, high. Have I just not looked at the receipt? Yeah, you probably no, just you've never, never looked. looked at the receipt. You wow. just put your card down and let it go. Yep. Jeez. 13%. So if you ever oh, order please. food anywhere, there's a thirteen and a half percent sales tax on it. Why? Uh, what is the sales uh, tax on like unprepared bread. food? Like, say you go to the you shop. You fucking got my ass, dude. I do not know. It's not nearly 13.5%. It's not even close and to 13.5%. Uh, I'm looking at it now. What's, yeah, what's Ohio? 6.5? Really... Unprepped sales <clears throat> tax on food. Virginia I think Ohio loves, loves 7%. Thought loves was taxes here. Yeah, you guys do love uh, taxes. Uh, grocery tax is... Yeah, that'd be right. Mm, it's probably it's like not... 7 Nine. It's not. It's just saying things that are taxed. It's not saying what the tax rate is. Um, they reduced it by one percent. Uh, it is it says, uh, the sales tax rate for most locations in Virginia is five point three percent. It's cheaper than Ohio, but we don't sales have thirteen. Of food or home consumption and certain essential personal hygiene products are taxed at the reduced rate of one percent throughout Virginia. Damn, that's new. That's twenty twenty three. Beginning January 1st, 2023. So they yeah. do some things right. Yeah. And then if you want to order food, here's your you get 14%. Fucked. That's pretty Damn, stupid. That is fucked. But, I mean, like, I think the only plus side to it all, that's, I'd probably move it up to a C because it's very expensive to live here for not a good reason because the economy is not much worse, like, not much higher than Ohio's. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason... But I'll probably move it up to a C because I can see where all my tax money goes, and it actually goes somewhere. Oh, really? And unlike not Ohio. just to seventy-seven. Yeah, unlike Ohio, where it supposedly goes to seventy-seven, but in six years I'll see that money go to seventy-seven. You'll see like half of it go to seventy-seven. The other yeah. half goes to like other people's pockets. The other is being embezzled. Yeah, I love it. And we all like, know it, should, it is. It should not take that long. It's 
They've been working on 77 for as literally as long as I can remember. Well over a decade. I was in high school when they started working on 77. Yeah, and that was the... the there was an exit by your old house. Um, they tore up, like, everything. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. still... Oh, yeah. There's still cones. There's, there's still, like... There's still cones, lane. but they're not even working on anything. It's fixed. It's there. It's done. They just put cones there. And they're like, we're doing construction. Yeah, it's bad. I don't the get 77 it. North is eternal construction. I, I have yeah. like little faith that it will ever stop. And they're dominating the Kenmore leg from the last time I was there. That was pretty neat. Yeah, bad. Once you get I to like that way. T- near Route 8 through Akron, it's just a shit show. Well, well Route 8 long... is just a shit show in general. How long were they working on Route 8? Do you remember when it was two lanes for like... Yeah, it was for a long time. It's... Dude, I don't even since know. at least 2016. Yeah, at least. At least 2016. And they're still... Do- like, they had it done. They're like, yeah, it's done. And then they went back to construction on it. Like, it was paved. There was Meanwhile, nothing wrong with it. They've been working on a brand new bridge tunnel here for less than probably three years, and I can see it's getting done. Yeah. You can yeah. See- Every time we go by that, I always see people working there. I've never seen anyone work on 77 there's just cones i haven't either just yeah. cones never like virginia does it right when it comes to road construction that's why i'll probably move it up to a c the taxes are way too high though and it's a bit yeah. ridiculous yeah i thought that was funny though oh, how oh, deserves an f though ohio sucks yeah oh, Ohio's yeah. big bad we have trained derailments and oil in our water now i'm gonna save money on my health insurance this year because i'm gonna know my numbers really you know your numbers what does that mean yeah uh, I, I have no fucking clue. They like check your cholesterol or something and they give you like your numbers and they're like, here you go. Congratulations. Here's $500 off your uh, insurance or something. Like That's that. kind of boggers. What? Yeah. I also get another 500 if I'm not a smoker and I'm not. Damn. Damn. You yeah. get a thousand bucks. Yeah. It's pretty nice. I still have to do my taxes too. I fucking hate. You still have to do them. I, I did my yours are going to be a pain in the ass, aren't they? Well, Taylor's finally brought down my other W-2 last weekend, and I just never got around to going to get mine. Because mm-hmm. I had to work extra because I had left early on Monday. Oh, well, yeah. And uh, so I haven't just gone out and paid just to get my taxes it. done. Look, I did mine early February. I got them done quick. I think I'm last probably... year, uh, I didn't do them till June. Jesus. I'm definitely getting mine done before I fly up. Yeah. You guys are gonna have to come and get me from my house on Friday. Yeah, I can't. I'm a. I will Friday. be. Yeah, I will. I'm just taking Friday off work. Yeah, I'm. I'm flying in. What time will you be getting in? Will I be getting in? Yeah. I'll be Isn't getting in Tuesday night at eleven fifty-five or something like that. Oh, so you're just gonna be up there for a while? Well, yeah, because it was a hundred dollars cheaper to stay six extra or like four extra days instead of come up for three days and then leave. And I'll pick you up early Friday. Then we'll head up to Cleveland, do some setup, come back. Well, isn't setup on Thursday? Oh yeah, you're right. You got to come up on Thursday. Thursday. I'm taking Friday off either way, so it doesn't even fucking bother me. Yeah. Well, then yeah, I'll go up Thursday evening if anybody wants to come. Tip. I don't. Yeah, you should. I have to go. I was there last year. Yeah. I mean, we'll have time. We just get off work. Luke, you're going to come too. All right. Oh, I hope the boys set up. Set up I mean, at I, Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland. I'm hoping um, the weather is like similar to last year because it was pretty temperate. It was like. It was nice. It was warm. Yeah, it wasn't It was cold. sunny. Yeah, me and, me and Brandon went on our uh, scooter. You guys took escapes. scooters. Me and Luke walked yeah. to fucking the sandwich place, Jimmy Subway. John's. Jimmy, Jimmy Way? I thought it was Jimmy Jones. And the dude there <laughs> was, was just like not having it. He actually didn't speak. Oh, yeah. He did not say a single word when we were there. Really? No. He didn't say anything. No. Average no, Cleveland no. employee. It's going to be nice not driving up literally right after I move here. Yeah. That was, yeah. Yeah. You came up like right after you moved. Which was weird, because wasn't it in, like, April last year? It was in, like, April. I started working. No, it was end of March. Are no, I started sure? working, and I worked the first week of April. I had already started working before I came up for it. I'm pretty sure it was uh, end of March. 2022. No, 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 I had to. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no,
2024 or 2023. I'm an idiot. You need 2022. Um, it was April 29th to May 2nd. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, because I remember I had just started work and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to come, but then my Ken was like, "Yeah, I get it. You kind of got shafted and had to come to here faster than expected." So that was it. Was so late last year. I didn't even realize. No way. No wonder it was fucking warm. It was May. How's weather been yeah. for you guys? Uh, this week was like it's yesterday was nice. Slowly into it abysmal. It, no, it's it's being weird. It's being Ohio. It was um, like starting Monday. It was cold and raining. Tuesday was cold and raining. Wednesday was cold and raining. Thursday and Friday were like sunny and not too cold. Saturday was nice. And today was nice. But I, I anticipate shit weather all throughout the weekdays. It's supposed to get consecutively colder every day. Actually, like changed. I think I think we have one day of rain, two, one or two days of rain this week. But it's supposed to be like high 40s to 30s, low 20s. No, it's yeah, yeah, around yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, no. Tomorrow's yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah. be like warm, in air quotes here. Above like fifty degrees, a little bit but raining. Yep, yeah, yeah. upper fifties all week. It seems. And that's like a really warm day. Sunny. Uh, looks like it's mostly cloudy for the most part. I take that over rain. If I'm, I just the worst weather combination is cold rain. That is the shit. Oh, it yeah. sucks. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, it was. I uh, think hail is pretty bad. Hail is at least like interesting. Cool. I mean, if your car's out in it, that sucks. If you're out in it, that sucks. Yeah, get yeah. hit by ice from the sky. Sky ice. <laughs> sky ice. We had a super bad storm over the weekend. Like Friday. I had one bad too. Dude, it got had... super fucking windy. Dude, I had 20 I mile power. per hour winds here. I didn't Same lose here. power, luckily. I lost power. I was watching. Uh... I was watching Don Machi, yeah, yeah that's right. right before the, the crazy poggers part, it just cut out. I was like, oh, oh. And I look, I look out to, like, back here, and there's, like, that intersection. I saw sparks flying. I was like, whoa. Really? Oh, that's epic. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's cool. I want to watch Don Machi now. <laughs> We've both seen Transformers blow up. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I was uh, driving to the gym one day. Me and, me and Amanda were driving to the gym, and on this road... One just kept pissing sparks. Like, I stopped in the road <laughs> to watch it. It was like... Uh, Amanda and I... We yeah, get it right. We're, we're Americans. Uh, Wemmons. <laughs> what did you say? Wemmons? Wemmons. <laughs> I said Wemmons. Like, like lemons with <laughs> lemons. W. Wemmons. We use Papa Guamo heel. I like, want women like, in my ice water. In my like, ice water. What do we... Like, what do we use Papa Guamo here? What do we? <laughs> what do we? You're embarrassing me right now. <laughs> I love that so Like, what do we? He, he's what do we quitting in the grocery store right now? <laughs> like, what do we? He's what do we hitting the quitty on the water? <laughs> <laughs> I what do we sports box flying from the street? My dad's what do we the CEO of Wego. He said that you're not allowed to have any Wegos anymore. So why? Like, yeah, what do we? You you're just done now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to like figure out what age group that voice belongs in. It's like too old for like toddlers, and I feel like it has to be like 18. I, it screams I was like eight... 14 for some reason. Really. 14 just seemed to have where it, where we... you haven't figured out who you are as yeah. a kid, yeah. so you're trying to make yourself seem cool. I'm literally going to grief your Minecraft server <laughs> if you don't play with me. Yeah, you literally don't understand. Like, my dad owns Microsoft. He said that your account's getting banned, so, like, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> you... <laughs> uh, it's just that's some of the greatest stuff to come out so far. Where do we? Where do we? Your uncle Whittle might work for Nintendo, but my dad's literally Microsoft, so like you just don't <laughs> got a chance to like see what we see. <laughs> my dad is literally Microsoft. <laughs> hey, well, what do we beat out any Nintendo IP? Just saying, dude. Just what do we? You wouldn't understand. Hey, Mario's not actually a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of Mario, when the fuck does that uh, movie come out? 
uh, sometime this year. I don't know the release date. I haven't looked it up in a while. Uh, I'm checking, man. I want to watch I, that I do so want to see that. I want to see it so fucking bad, dude. April 5th. Ooh, no, fuck. April 5th? Yeah. I want to watch it so bad. Oh, I got to go see it. <laughs> I want to wow. see Mario sound normal. <laughs> <laughs> Who's voicing him? Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, the dinosaur oh, trainer. Who's playing uh, Princess Peach? Uh, I don't know. I also don't really care. I'm more excited for Jack Black's Bowser because he sounds fucking amazing. I want to hear yeah. um, Seth Rogen's Donkey. <laughs> I mean, they didn't give him any voices in the teaser trailer. And I'm so mad about That's it still, dude. That's because they're, uh, they're doing the big reveal when show night comes. Oh, oh. Her name is her name is Anya Toyler, Taylor Joy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was, uh, uh, she was in this movie that's really popular right now called The Menu. Mm -hmm. uh, that was an Taylor interesting. Joy. Yeah, that was an interesting movie. I actually really liked it. She's in The Queen's Gambit. That's popular. I want to watch that. I, I still I haven't gotten around to watching it. Uh, yeah, The Menu though is actually a really interesting movie. I liked it. I don't Literally. know if I've ever seen any of the movies that she's in. I don't really care about her being Princess Peach. I want Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong, and Jack Black Bowser. That's really all I'm going to see. The floor. Yeah, that's I what that's what I care, care about. The Super I Mario. I just want to hear Mario movie. sound normal. I'm tired of Mario sounding like a plumber uh, that's Italian. I want to hear him sound normal. Bro, Charlie also, Day um, is Luigi. Yeah, yeah, and um, fuck, what's his name? Keegan Michael Key is, is Toad. It, yeah, <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, Keegan Michael Key is Toad. <laughs> Dude, it's he sounds so good. I didn't even know it was him. I, if I didn't see his name like as Toad, I would have no clue that that's Keegan Michael Key. The first time I ever saw him do anything was um this Animal Planet show called like Pet Talent or some shit like that. It wasn't Key and Peel. No, it was he was no, on some Animal he, Planet show. Yeah, he did. It's called like World's Most Famous pets or something oh man i need to take a drink of this tea that you guys don't have right now you know? i want that fucking tea i gotta find Who the show. fuck is uh foreman spike foreman who the spike? fuck is foreman spike what the fuck do you mean oh, I gotta... that's a mario character yeah he's got sunglasses and shit and he's wearing purple and black he's got a hammer oh foreman spike who the fuck is foreman that spike I have no idea who this is. He was in a... Uh, is this a movie? I can't remember if this is a movie or a show. Cranky Kong. Who the fuck is Cranky Kong? Obviously so, Donkey Kong's grandpa. There is yeah. another... There's another NES game called Wrecking Crew. And Foreman Spike is the foreman of the demolition site where Mario and Luigi work in that game. I thought Foreman they were fucking plumbers. Spike. What are they doing on a demolition set? Oh, fuck, fuck if I know. Yeah, there he is. Fucking Foreman Spike. Yeah. Foreman Spike, dude. Got his overalls. This movie's going to be great. I'm, I'm so, so it's gonna be fucking good. excited, unironically. Oh, man, I really am too. I can't wait to watch it. I was... This is the excitement I had when they announced the Sonic movie and they had Ugly Sonic. I was so fucking excited for that movie. And then they changed him. Oh, I didn't want to see it anymore. <laughs> I want like, to see Ugly Sonic. I can't remember what he used to look like. I literally did not want to see it after they changed Ugly Sonic. I wanted him so fucking bad. God, he's bad. <laughs> oh my God, he looks horrible. <laughs> He oh, just, that's oh, he terrible. just looks. Uh, do you guys remember the theory where um, they made the design intentionally bad and planned on changing it so they could get a reaction out of it? Yeah, I had that theory. That was I. I yeah. had that theory before I heard everybody else had that same theory. It it makes total sense. Yeah, because it worked. Everyone got a reaction out of that shit. Well, yeah, he looks like horrible, absolutely terrible. It's... He looks like creepy. He looks like a molester. Yeah, a little so bit. Funny. That's what he looks like. I was so goddamn excited for that movie, and then they changed him. And I was like, I don't even care anymore, really. <laughs> yeah. And now I, I heard think... they're just good movies. I heard they're actually that's, genuinely good movies. That's what Cone was saying. He said he loves the Sonic movies. I don't think I could ever pay money to see Sonic. I could not. Well, you don't have I hate to Sonic. now. Why? I'm not gonna... I, I want to watch it. I mean... 
they did get Idris Elba as Knuckles, and I love him. I he is Idris an amazing Elba. actor. Who is and it? He's Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Idris. I D R I S Elba. He's a good actor. He was um. Fuck, what was What's that BBC he... show he was? Hobbs and Shaw, Beast, Luther, The Mountain Between Us. Luther. Luther is an amazing show. I don't think I've seen anything this guy's in. Oh, yes, you have. Yes, you have. Have you watched any of, like, any of the Marvel movies? Um, He's in Thor that. Ragnarok. I have not seen. He's in Thor. I haven't seen. Have you, have you seen any of the Thor movies? Uh... He plays Heimdall. Who's he play? What's Age of Ultron? Is that uh, the first Avengers movie? That's the second Avengers movie that everyone hates. I haven't seen that one. He's in Infinity War. He's in Finding Dory. I've seen Finding Dory. Who the fuck's he playing Finding Dory? He was also in uh, the new Suicide Squad, the the remake, not the shitty one that came out in like 2016 or whatever. Dude, that one was so bad. I never it saw really it. Bad. It was the cringiest shit in the entire he played, world. He played Deadshot in the new one. God, it was so bad. So bad. I actually wanted Elba. to see it just for how like bad it was. Oh my god, top man. Tier. He, he is actually a top tier actor. Yeah, he's a I would good say. actor. There was talk of him maybe being the new Bond, and I was so goddamn excited because oh, of the oh, yeah. Bond. That'd be so fucking good. I, I love him as an actor, though. Like genuinely, I think I like I, I like Jamie Fox as an actor. I love Jamie Fox. I do yeah. like Jamie Fox as an actor as well. He's my funny too. my fa my favorite actor is Christopher Waltz. Christopher was, Waltz. Uh, yeah, he Ooh. was uh he was Doctor Schultz <laughs> in Django. He was uh Lando Lando Hans or Hans Lando in uh Inglorious Bastards. He's in a lot of uh. It's a director that likes feet. It's his name. I always forget um, his name. Little feet. Quentin, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's in a lot of Quentin Tarantino that likes movies. Feet. He's in a new series called uh, The Consultant that I want to watch. He's Tip my. He's by far my favorite actor. Really I likes guy. Christopher Walken. Who does? Taters does. Tip does. Tip oh. loves Christopher. I like Walken. Christopher he likes Walken. The way he talks. Hey, look him up. In, look him up in Mouse Hunt. He looks <laughs> Luke, look up a Christopher Walken Mouse Hunt. It's from 1998. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Mouse Hunt before? I haven't seen. Dude, the he movie, gets but fucked by movie. this mouse. Oh man, the mouse absolutely gives him the business. It's so great. You have to. He see has it. to get carried no. out on a stretcher via ambulance. It's a classic movie. Now, ladies. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. He was in that hey. movie with The Rock too. Fuck. The Rock's been in like every movie. Remember that stint of like two years where The Rock was in every single movie? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, The Rundown. That movie was not very good. Anyone who says that it was good is kind of a liar. The Rundown. I'm dumb. Fucking sucks. I've never even heard of it. I've no. seen it. It's not. It's not very good. The Rock plays like some ex seal or something like that i don't even remember the fucking true plot but he's afraid of guns or something and afraid of killing people and he goes to some town to try to help do something i don't even remember what the fuck he's trying to do and christopher walken's like this big ringleader there and he's like leading a mafia of like weird colombian farmers to rise a revolt against the government and the rock's just kind of there Dude, that looks like an old movie. The Rock looks it's really young. Not even that old. What's it called? The Rundown. Rundown. I think it was like um, 2013. Rundown. 2003. Oh, was it? Oh, never yeah. mind. I'm super wrong. Not. I want images. Yeah, The Rock. Yeah. Holy shit, he looks young. Yeah, he does. Cornelius Bernard or something like that was the Christopher Walken's character's name. It's weird seeing Cornelius. The Rock with like hair. Yeah, 20 years will do that. It will. It really will. 20 years definitely makes you a bit older. I know I wasn't this old 20 years ago. My God, not, not me. Not, not me. Not I all of us. I was actually close to 20 years younger 20 years ago. Yeah. I was... Almost. Yeah, I was, I was getting there. I was getting there. <laughs> 
right, Thorpe, you want to hit us with that animation of the week? Because I got a topic I, I saw on Twitter. I told Anthony about it. Uh, I want your opinion on it. Did you? Too. You, Twitter. Yeah, I did. You, yeah, Twitter. I, I don't know. Oh, that's that's exact. The first part, I was like, oh, Twitter, great. You, uh, Twitter. It, it lit a fire. It actually made me mad. Wait, I wanted to reply. But you I must didn't. have told me this a minute ago because I vaguely remember something. No, I told you at work. It was either this week or, la or late last week. I don't remember, but I'm sure I'll... When, when I bring it up, you'll know exactly what I'm talking Go about. Go smack it's, you that wacky on that animation It's, of it's the week. Twitter being Twitter. We'll hit that animation so, of the week. Yeah, let's get to so it. So this week, I am doing Yu Yu Shiki. The story follows the school life of three girls, Yuzuko, Yukari, and Yui, who join their high school's data processing club. The odd friendship between the three make for wacky humor and even the most mundane of events. That's it. It is, that the, is the most full slice of life thing. I loved Yu Yu Shiki so much. I love Yu Yu um, I feel like this type of show needs categorized in, in a specific genre of just like goofy slice of life. Like Yuri Yuri kind of falls in that. Um, Mitsuboshi colors. Mitsuboshi colors. Strawberry marshmallow. Or just the character. Like they're just. Did you uh, goofy finish Strawberry dumb. Marshmallow? Yeah, I did. I had that. I've had that queued up. I keep meaning to watch it. I can't. I never got to it. It's it, it's very similar to Yu Yu Shiki. Just like mm -hmm. a fun goofy watch. Those are like my favorites. That's what I need. I need a fun goofy watch. Oh, and Happy would definitely fall under this as well. Man, it's almost like two of us know about Anne Happy, right? Hey, hey, hey. It's almost like two of us didn't sleep through the entire show. Almost like two of us know about a certain anime that I'm not even going to get. I'm not even. Alex, you're it. really just digging your grave deeper with that one. I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> yeah, the world anyway. God only knows. Dorf has no clue about that show at all. I don't. Hey, 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 fucking loser. Hey, hey, hey. No, fuck you, buddy. Fucking, fuck you, buddy. You've never <laughs> seen the world God only knows. Fuck you. Go watch Ochi Kochi. Why don't you blow it out your ass, bud? How about that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, go. All right, what's our deal first off, Thorpe? Oh, God. Um, it's just they're in the data processing club. You know what you could do? What? Buy one, get one half off. Oh, the... You oh, remember the scene where they do that? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't do it for you. Your mic or my mic. We can't pick up the pops. Wait, I heard tips. I heard Luke's. Oh, it's just not doing it. You have to go. <laughs> It's it, it like, doesn't it's pick like... up. All right, let's do a different. It's not picking up. Oh, man, that'd be a good one. That scene was so fucking funny. It that whole show was, it was a classic. Mm -hmm. It's just a quick 12 episode banger. You have a good time watching. What's our deal? I got to remember things from the show. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been a minute since we watched. This is one of those shows, too, where it's like hard to remember things. Yeah, it's just, it, it just goes. There's no yeah, plot. Nothing happens. It's like most of Lucky Star. I can't tell you a single thing that really happened in Lucky exactly. Star. Exactly. But I enjoyed it. I, yeah, I loved yeah. it. Um, I remember Lucky... the uh, cosplay cafe episode. Yeah, I remember that. that. Cool. I remember the, yeah. I think it was the teacher who drove the car like Initial D. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they animated it like yeah. Initial D and stuff. Um, but like our, our deal here, <clears throat> what's, a, what's a thing similar? What, what goes with data processing? Coding. All right. Um. Um. Buy one, <laughs> get one JavaScript. I don't fucking know. Like, what does that mean? I use, dude. I use what Python. I use Python. What do you mean? Buy one, <laughs> get, get one, one JavaScript. JavaScript. What does that mean? Okay, it's all right. Well, we're gonna set this up totally different. It's like a buffet. You can do like. JavaScript, JavaScript, Python, <laughs> Java, C Sharp, C++, C, React. You get to choose one. C Sharp? Fuck C. C Sharp and C++ all suck dick. You don't gotta tell me twice, brother. <laughs> choose. Um, I'm going Java. Are you going Java or JavaScript? Script. I'm going Python. I'll go Python. Going Python. It, it has funny I'm going snake. Python. <laughs> I'm going Python. All right, everyone's choosing Python. <laughs> you know, the best <laughs> thing about this. to do with the deal. <laughs> it's not a deal. It's a, it's a buffet. It's a buffet. 
They don't even process any data in this show. <laughs> they no. do no data processing. No, they were on the computer once, but they were playing games on it, weren't they? Yeah, they, so. and they were looking up funny pictures of animals, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. funny cat pics. Yeah. You could say the cat pics were data, and they were... Analyzing. Pro- yeah, yeah. yeah. It's data processing processing, processing the data. <laughs> Hey, that I'm scale is completely unrepresented. <laughs> it was a busted show, though. I really do like that show. All right, how many cat picks out of ten would you process? Since I really I love these kinds of shows, I'm gonna give it eight cat picks. I mean, that's that's that's, that's kind of high, but mm-hmm. I just enjoy these types of shows. Yeah. So it's biased. I do too. Okay. 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 I will see you. I'm down. Eight I'm giving cat picks okay. being data processed. Okay. All right, Alex. Now that we're through mm-hmm. animation of the week, why don't you tell us your cringe terminally online take? All right. So first, before we go into this, oh, you have to know is I saw this on Twitter, so you know it's going to be a hot take that is completely wrong. So I'm scrolling through, and I see this. Uh, I don't know this original post, and someone replied to the post. Where's it? It was four pictures of an anime. Um, what were the animes? I think one was like Fire Force. One was uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, the other... Oh, fuck. What were the other two? All right. It's kind of irrelevant. But the main thing was they said fan service ruins anime. Um, that caught my attention. That's fine. I mean, a lot of people have that opinion. I'm that's really... that's what I was saying. Um, that I'm caught my attention. That. I wasn't either. It's not. It doesn't belong in every single anime. And if people don't like to watch it, they don't like to watch it. It's no. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so I'm scrolling through, just seeing people's replies, and I see this one. This person said, "They're like, yeah, I completely agree. Fan service ruins anime. I can't recommend one of my favorite animes to people because I feel like it will give me a bad look." And they're like, "There's just too much fan service in it. I can't recommend it to anyone." You, I'll give you two. Uh, maybe Luke, because Anthony might be remembering. I, what I it do was remember. Like. Yeah, Luke, I'm gonna give you three guesses to what this anime was. Well, hold on, my cheese steaks here. Okay. Give me hold on. like half a second. You, okay. Um, it's cheese steak. Just think about it. Think about it. All right, let me think. Um, um, it was a recent show in the last year. Recent show in last year. Just aired. I, I, can I get a genre it's... though? Supernatural. Supernatural. Uh, um, can you narrow it down to a season, or is that well, it has, too much? It it has two seasons and a movie. Two seasons and a movie? A movie? Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking of a different show. Maybe right. I recant my Supernatural because I don't know anymore. Is it Demon Slayer? No, it's not Demon Slayer. Oh, um, uh, so how recent? it aired this year? Or last year? One of one one part did, yeah, last year. Uh, Season two did. What the fuck has a movie? Mm, that's a good question. Oh fuck, not I, I wanna get this now. I actually feel like <laughs> I have enough information that I can get this Check. and now I'm kinda of mad about so it. Did everyone watched it, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm doing like hard searches right now it was because a, I uh, actually like get this right. A brand new show? Well, it's uh, no, two. it's not brand new, but he did say it's season two. So, did, have we all seen the movie? I'm the only person that have not that has not. You have not mm-hmm. seen the movie. You two have, but I've seen both seasons. All of us have. What the fuck? Oh, I have it now, and I know. I think I know what it is. Cause is it made in abyss? Oh fuck! You're abyss. Right, it is made in abyss. This person said, "Made in abyss had too much fan service to recommend to anyone, and that it is the cause of the anime industry being disgusting." Made in abyss. I think he has too few brain cells. It, let's deconstruct Made in Abyss for, for a couple minutes here. So, we have Reg, our robot man. Reg. Reg. 
I, f I always forget the name of uh, the girl. It's because she doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, no one cares. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, bad, <laughs> but like... I'll find it real quick. Like I, she's the whole point that the yeah. show even goes on, and I just um, she I does just not of, Like Fop, the Tanashi, Rico, Rico. So we have it. Rico. Obviously, is a child, right? So that's that's pretty fucking clear. And the animators made everything in a way where things look a little more childish, which is fine. That is just how the show goes. In no way, shape, or form, do they ever sexualize Rico. Ever. They don't do it to Reg. They don't do it to Nanashi. They don't do it to any of the adult characters at the orphanage before they go in the abyss. Now, hold on, hold on. Reg does get a little horny when he pets Nanachi's fluffy tail. Does happen. That's true. There are a few times. It is true. Okay. He but gets horny you, from the fluffy. Can you equate horniness to fan service? I don't know. Am I giving fan service off right now? No. There's your answer. <laughs> that was a good one. That was so, a good one. So that's season one. You know, <clears throat> I haven't seen the movie. Um, all I know from there's, what you guys said is it's fucked. It's bad. It's fucked up bad. Yeah, in a very d disturbing way. It ruined me. For a and while. then we've all seen season two, which just goes farther down the wormhole of things getting fucked. It didn't really hurt that as bad as season one did, though, in my opinion. Really. The movie definitely hurt the worst out of it. The movie was, was oh, very bad. That, way, that is way worse than anything else. So I might just be like remembering season one bad because the movie is awful. It's I thought so, season, I, so bad. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I thought season two was worse I, than I think, season one. I, I also think season two was worse than season one. But it, that's not like discounting season one. No, no. They all have their... Uh, I'm not just either. Factors. I just I don't know. It's hard for me to tell because that movie is really, really rough. Yeah, it, it's so fucking rough that yeah. it's like. I just don't get where why this person said Made in Abyss had fan service and where they couldn't recommend it to I've someone. I've seen a lot of people say that, and I don't get it. Where are they drawing that conclusion? Mm -hmm. I just where's did. that come from? All right, what's up with this fan? There's, I apologize there, for um, eating on mic, by the way, viewers. Um, I don't want my French fries to get cold because cold French fries are bad. Yes. Sorry. Go okay, on. so there's if you just Google Made in Abyss fan service, this Reddit thread comes up in the Made in Abyss subreddit. Uh, I'm just going to skim through this for a second. The argument is the fact that the story where children die. Somehow that gives the pass when you do fan service. The story gives or et cetera. The problem is that Gags or jokes. Um, so apparently what appears to be what's happening <clears throat> is there are scenes where they're undressing or changing clothes or taking a bath or something. And people are mistaking that as fan service rather than just something that's, for lack of a better term, just kind of the story. Because hmm. the I don't see it as fan service in, in because it is not it's not supposed to be like some etchy scene for the viewer to like lick their screen over. No, there's definitely like <clears throat> holy shit, my voice. There's definitely like if they try and make a scene like that, then you know like the context is written exactly. on the wall. Yeah. Like, you watch My Dress Up Darling when they're measuring Marin. That is fan service. Or when the button Rico, breaks and kills him. Rico, t Yeah, Rico taking a bath after, like, like, losing a limb or getting, like, impaled or something is not fan service. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I would say that either. I wouldn't either. I wonder, like, if that's a question you could pose on the actual anime subreddit. A lot of these people if, are saying, like, it's just stupid to have those scenes in the first place because they don't serve any merit to the story. I think that's an extremely dumb argument. Like, I, I don't think every scene in a show or, or movie or anything media-related has to serve merit to the story. Like, you, you should be able to have things that are just there. They don't have mm -hmm. to contribute to the story. 
Well, there's that, but also you can count it that it's, you know, downtime for these characters. Yeah. It's what, mm -hmm. it's like a relaxation, a calm before the storm of more shit going down. Somebody like, wrote what? also... You can finish up. Sorry, I interrupted. I was going to say, like, well, you don't want them to take a bath because they've had a long day after watching people fucking die in front of them. Like, it, it happens. And they don't just do nothing. They sort thoughts out in those scenes as well. Mm -hmm. It's not just them taking a bath and, like, having someone pop in the door because they're handing them their clothes or their towel. It's not like that. Someone said, um, ideally, what you could, like, sum the whole story up is just kids experiencing life and growing up it's pretty much what it is like they're experiencing yeah. their whole life in the abyss now i just found it really hard i was like is this person smooth i mean it's I mean, like I never think twice about recommending i wouldn't this. either no i wouldn't either it's a 10 out of 10 show like there's it's absolutely just phenomenal i mean I i've never I've never once had like the thought of like, man, this is fan service. But maybe that's because I don't, you know, because I don't fucking sexualize kids. Yeah, I think if if that's what you're focusing on, then you're focusing on the wrong thing. That should not be like the one thing that gets you like, whoa, 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 hold on a second. What is this? Yeah, I yeah, see it as fan service. You're the problem here. That's kind of how I feel. Like I'm. When those scenes, like you said, Luke, they're like analyzing thoughts and thinking about shit that happened. Like, that's kind of what's happening in those scenes. And I'm reading more into the dialogue than whatever is going on screen. Because that's a show where you think. And it's a story show. It's not mm -hmm. like a visual. Well, I mean, the visuals are very pretty in the show. Yeah. But you get a lot more from the story than the visuals themselves. Yeah. I don't know. I just I thought that was baffling. People thought that. That's like the average Twitter argument, though. It is, yeah. I'm terminally online. I see everything as a child, and they're always getting sexually assaulted. Yeah, it's like any time anything like that comes up, there's always always a hot take with it. And the hot take's always you're trying to sexualize a child. They're really forcing a narrative with it, like really it's trying never... to push it. It's never you're a pervert because I can't hurt you from some of the shows. If they just called you a fucking pervert for watching it, all right, I guess. Like, yeah, what's I can't argue. Yeah, for some, some anime are just like that. Yeah, but made but, in abyss. I just don't. I don't see it that way. No, I, I mean, saw it like, as like a, a terribly sad story. Yeah, I mean, like Luke said, I would not hesitate to recommend it to somebody. Mm. But this is like the issue I have with a lot of this is Twitter likes to water down words and like let them lose power, such as sexualizing children, pedophilia. They water down that word so much that nobody takes it seriously now. Yeah, it's like it's you can, that... if any like character shows up that looks slightly young, you can just categorize it in that now because yeah. it's just such a loose term. Yeah, it's just, it's it's gross. It's really gross, the, what Twitter does with words and just their They're the processes. worst at it. Twitter's just the worst in general. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Twitter. Pikami was an angel. Yeah, that whole Pikami thing, wait, man. Wait. Is that what? I know you said, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Uh, Pikami played Hogwarts Legacy. And that's why she's graduating? Twitter bullied her yes. so bad that she did not want to come back, and she decided to graduate instead. Damn. They bullied mm -hmm. Silvervale so bad that I she see. actually was forced to respond to them, and they, she called them a bunch of losers, and that was she, really funny. Yeah, I saw. She was, like, crying on stream because of it. Yeah, And that... now they're trying to come after um, Pippa Pipkin from Face Connect. She's awesome. For playing, way, for playing Hogwarts? Game. She's the derby she plays Hogwarts, except she's the worst person from the come at because she is a massive shit poster and she will not care. She will shit post them <laughs> the whole fucking time. Man, so that I think is they meet their wall. I think they met their wall finally. That is a fiasco. The that whole Hogwarts, Hogwarts legacy oh thing going on. That was that's Whoa. just crazy. It is You're playing a game wild. that doesn't even give money to the person that created it? Fuck you. I think Girl, she gets like another money from royalties of... and she she got something. But like, she already got it. Yeah, yeah. What what are yeah. you supposed to do? And let's not take it by the fact that she's like almost worth a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. 
I was like, yeah, I could see if she didn't have a lot of money to her name and you're supporting it. But like, dude, she could give all her money to whatever foundation she wanted and not make a penny from this game and it wouldn't make a difference. Let's just boycott every library for having Harry Potter books. Simple. Yeah. That, that's yeah. another thing Twitter does, man. They watered down the transphobe word, transphobia so much to where people that actually experience that shit it's just going to be boy crying wolf. Right. I mean, oh, that was such a... It's, it's still going on, but I think people have come to realize they're like, I'm just going to play the game. And I, I think a lot of like trans people are like, I don't give a fuck if you play the game. They don't. It's, it's people who like aren't and, and they just give like the community such a, a bad taste. It's such yeah, a the, terrible take. It makes they're the it, loudest it makes, mouths. Exactly. It makes everyone else look at that like, wow, I don't know much about this community, but I don't like the way that they're taking this right now. And then mm-hmm. people start to dislike that. Like you're, you're doing a disservice to your own community. Or yeah, the people that aren't even a part of that community, community that get offended on behalf of them when they're not, they don't yes. even have a problem with it. Yeah. It's, it's like, just, it's the cultural appropriation thing. Like, yeah, the only people who I've ever seen get mad about it are like white people. People that aren't a part of the culture. Yes, who have nothing yeah. to do with it. Mm-hmm. I watched, uh, there's a guy, I don't remember if it was YouTube videos or not, because it's been a while since I've seen him. But he would like, he dressed up with like a sombrero and a poncho and everything. He was walking around and a bunch of white people were telling him that's disrespectful and to take it off. And he walked over to a bunch of Mexican people like, dude, you look awesome and shit like that. And they're like, they're like I really excited. Shit. They're like hyped up. They're like, dude, you look fucking sick. I love that and shit. It's and like, I'm like, wa- cool about it. I wonder, like, say people that always chirp cultural appropriation and stuff, say they go to uh, say, the, uh, Japan. Say they go to Japan and they're, they're in a bar and some Japanese person comes in wearing, like, a big belt buckle, cowboy hat. Uh, <laughs> cowboy boots, stirrups. Uh, cowboy boots, stirrups. Um, he's got, like, a fake holstered <laughs> pistol and he has, like, a... I don't know a fucking flannel that's shit like in the american flag would they do you think they would chirp at him be like dude you're culture appropriating my country or do you think they just do it to do to other cultures or countries i don't think they would care i think like, that would think be of, fucking hilarious like, like cowboy tanaka type Pete. <laughs> that would be so funny <laughs> Dude, if I if I was walking around the street somewhere and I saw someone who clearly was not American, and they're rocking the cowboy Tanaka get up, I'd be like, "Come here, give <laughs> me a big a, fucking high five. I'm getting a picture. Let me get a picture. <laughs> you are a based king, or queen, whatever you are." I really want to uh, get super fluent in Japanese, and then like when I talk Japanese, I say certain words in English, but with a very American accent. <laughs> I feel like that'd be really funny. Like every time I say something Englishy, I would just be like, "Yes," <laughs> like no. overemphasize American words. Name me a cowboy Tanaka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. I think that'd be super fucking funny. That would be really good. Or I just I wonder. Like Western accent. <laughs> no me a cowboy Tanaka. <laughs> 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 Even if you say Cowboy Tanaka. <laughs> It'd be really funny. <laughs> that would be really good. I I don't know. I just wonder if they would get upset about their own culture being represented. Um, White people don't have culture. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's we, we do. No, that's we do. That's fucking argument. We do. No, we we said it was cheeseburgers. Um, The American flag. Lightly salted. Maybe salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> Zero <laughs> like, sugar soda. We have a ton of culture here, dude. <laughs> we are the epitome. <laughs> You're really on one about zero sugar sodas recently, dude. <laughs> The sprites were good. They were really good. <laughs> oh, the sprites. Good. <laughs> they're really good. They're really good. I feel like good. It tastes like Sprite. Like if you like zero sugar Sprite, you just like Sprite. Yeah. But there's no sugar in it. <laughs> yeah, and Sprite Sprite has so much sugar. Also, it has so much sugar. For adults. 
Sprite for adults. If you're still drinking like sugar in this day and age, nah. No. If you're still away. drinking sugar in your sodas, you're a child. Fuck yeah, you. Huge. Yeah, you're just a child. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that before the show. Uh, like, oh, you're. <laughs> Like me and Luke were talking, like, oh, this man's eating a hamburger. <laughs> 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 grow up. <laughs> yeah, grow up. Because oh. yeah, Alex was like, I had chicken noodle soup. And I said, you're eating chicken noodle soup at your age. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat a cheeseburger and be cool, but a hamburger is off limits. Oh, no. You put Who cheese knows? on that fucking burger. Oh, they need cheese. eats a hamburger? Well, sometimes, like, if I'm at Macker's I'll, and I'm, like, really on the budget type meat, I'll get a burger with ketchup, onion. That's it. Just this this small, small piss baby little... burger with onion how and mu- ketchup. How much more is to put cheese on it? Like it's, 10 cents? It's probably like, you know, the thing is they charge a lot for a slice of cheese. It's like, it's maybe like 70 cents. It's the best thing since sliced bread. So you're not going to get cheese on a McDonald's hamburger for seventy it's not, cents? All right, it's not like I do that every time. I don't even. I don't eat McDonald's. My dollar anymore. menu. I don't get the cheeseburger. I get the hamburger. Give me the, the, the hamburger. The <laughs> it's the same fucking price. If cheese is an option, I'll probably get it. These fries were mid as fuck. Where are they, they from? Uh, That's the Rick's fries. Rick's cheesesteaks fries. Oh, I Rick's. feel like. Any fries for like delivery, the condensation is going to build up in a box like that and just make them soggy. It wasn't even that; they were definitely freezer fries. Oh yeah, I hate that feeling. I hate, yeah. freezer I hate fries. freezer fry feeling. Yeah, I hate it. Yo, some of the best fries are from Rallies. Big. Rallies got busting. They do. Oh yeah, Luke's got the tea. I'm the a big, fucking adult. The big... I don't drink sugar in my goddamn drinks. Hey, there's no sugar in this monster. Good, no sugar in this Gatorade, zero man. Sugar. Zero. It says zero. What's, what was Andy's bitch. problem with the green monster? It's I the, like be- the, it's the best monster. flavor. I love the green monster. I like the green monster. The OG monster. flavor is the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The new one he had, that strawberry one, that one's good, though. It is good. I don't know how I'd feel about a strawberry monster. That's how, That's I, how like... I was at first. I saw it, and I was like, mm. But it's actually, it compare. have you had all of the zeros? Yes. Like a purple, blue, green... Orange, white. Had purple, white. They have like a mango one that's in a teal can. Never had that one. I've had it's, purple and white. It, I know it used purple. to be my favorite. And now it just tastes like vomit. Um, it's it's up there with like the light blue and the white can. It's it's really good. I like I like my monster flavors. I said this before. I like not knowing what it is. Like peach, I know what peach is. Like yeah. the white, I have no fucking idea. I know it's citrusy. The blue is. A flavor original it's monster blue. is a flavor it's, it's blue it's, it's blue you get the blue can you get the blue monster yeah you get the blue gatorade if you put a gun to my head i cannot tell you what the green monster is supposed to be no. it's just it's monster that's all it's it like is green. it's like antifreeze and motor oil <laughs> carbonation with it just tastes good but it, it has no sugar so it's like cool antifreeze. it does i won't even it, yeah dude this fucking drink i remembered vividly um, this was probably like 15 years ago. Oh, my hips. It's called NOS. They still sell it oh, in my cans, God, but it NOS. used to come in these plastic bottles, the bottles. And the cap, they looked like nitrous oxide bottles, like that you would put in a car. And yeah. this shit was like fluorescent green. Yep. I'm like, holy yeah, fuck. Yeah, imagine you took like 10 multivitamins and then pissed the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find that. Um. Mega neon. Nice. Mega neon. Energy drink. Yeah, I remember. I thought I was so cool when I opened my first bottle of NOS. I was like, oh, oh, oh. It's green. Here, it's yes, green. I, I found the OG plastic bottle. I wonder how much that cost. But like we said, if you drink sugar in your drinks, you're not an adult. You're a child. You're also not an adult. If you don't hit that like button, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, we upload weekly, and follow us on TikTok and Instagram. You fucking tell him. He Luke. said it. I'll, I will. I tell him every day. It's a free podcast. Free podcast. So you guys got to do a sub. <laughs> in like uh, three weeks, we'll be in Cleveland at Fan Expo doing some vending for Mecon. If you're in the area, stop by, say hello. Uh, I think it's at the Huntington Convention Center. Yeah, March yeah. 24th through the 26th. 
be there. Booth number 231. I will shoot gun. whoever requests to be shot. That's right, he will. He has a gun. I, mm -hmm. I can't bring it, though, because I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't also don't Paul. have a gun. <laughs> 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 I also don't have a gun. I can't bring bottles of water or guns through there. <laughs> Both are extremely deadly. Both are That's... extremely ridiculous. I should be allowed to have my firearm. It's my Second Amendment right to bear arms. Three fifty-seven. Five five seven. Forty odd. Blackout. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to find that post that what? that person made because there were the four animes. I'm just it's bugging me which four they chose. Did you say? I just want to know. I I can't. I don't uh, know. I see tweets. Like, I don't know. Just screenshot. You're not going to be able to find it. There's no way. No. It's like a list. I hate when I go to Whatever. recommend an anime and it has a bunch of fan service that doesn't need to be there, like Demon Slayer, Testament of Sister, New Devil, <laughs> uh, Mon Monster Masume. And interspecies reviewers are all great shows, but the fan service room is just a little too much. Just a little too much, I swear. A little less fan service would recommend it in a heartbeat. I didn't I mean, say it was, um, here. It's... It is. I found it actually. Oh jeez, what are uh, they? Joe Joey the Anime Man actually responded to this exact tweet. It was a uh, Fire Force, Nisekoi, Seven Deadly Sins, and I think Assassination Classroom. What? Okay, I can understand Fire Force. I've heard people say that before. That one doesn't make sense with fan service. Isn't, isn't, isn't it always with Maki? Yeah. Tamaki. Tamaki, Tamaki. Yeah. She has like Lucky Letcher or something. Yeah, okay, well, like, it's very clearly just shoved in there. Like, I can see that. But like, Nisekoi? They said, uh, really? It, Nisekoi's a show, it, it's going to have fan service. I know, Same but with, it, it's just fucking stupid how it's on the list. It, it's a yeah, rom-com. Yeah, it's not really forced I know. in. Like, it's no. there it, it's very pretty, much. Yeah. Like, another one is they have Seven Deadly Sins. I've never seen it, but a lot of people said, like, that show's another one where they just forced it in there without it mm. needing to be. So what did, I, what I, did Joey say? I'm it. curious what his take was. His was, his was like, two of these. Um, let me read the exact quote. He said, two of these do it right two of these uh completely fuck it up so I, th I think he's assuming to fire force and seven deadly sins fuck it up nisekoi and assassination classroom actually do it right i think it's assassination classroom i don't is there know. a dude with a big Can you like yellow send head? a screenshot of it to me because i've seen assassination Classroom. yeah one second I could tell you the name of the show. Yeah, I'm going to send it in uh, the group chat on Snap. Yeah, because I have the swag. I don't Less know swag. what it is. I think it's something with Classroom in Let's it. See. Oh, that's uh, Prison School. Prison School, okay, yeah. He said that one. I, I was assuming what he was assuming with uh, saying with the other two is Nisko and Prison School. It's kind of there. Like, it's not a big deal. The other two, however, I can probably agree with uh, since I've seen I one of them. I like the picture of Tamaki that they chose. <laughs> classic. Total classic. Total classic. Total classic. So, like, some of those, yeah, I can agree with. And then the others, I'm like, eh. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... But, like, saying that ruins every single anime, I'm like... If they show a Not single really. booby in one show that I it's watched, I, I'm going to throw an aneurysm. It's kind of like saying, like, yeah, I want to get rid of sexual themes in all anime. It's like, okay, what about, like, regular TV shows? What about movies? Well, those don't count. Like, those don't count. No. Right. Yeah, they don't. So Sex your argument's already wrong. Masterpiece. Toddlers yeah. and Tiaras, epic. <laughs> That's Judy's a great one. Fantastic. Any, what was that? Any, like, cuties. What is that? Cuties. Is it you like the remember? same? You do not remember cuties? the backlash that got? I um, I low key. Show. Oh fuck yes, I do. I I had to look it up. Cuties Netflix. Yes. It was a Netflix show, and what it was the fuck. It was is that cheerleading. No. <laughs> it was. It was. I don't remember what the fuck it was, but it was quite literally child sexualization. That's literally. Uh, this is weird. 
it was weird. They literally sexualized children, and like Twitter was defending the fuck out of it. But then, if an anime girl is there, they what the fuck out. This is fucking strange, dude. Whoa, everyone, oh, it's a movie. It's a movie. Everyone who wasn't yeah, in absolute movie. brainlet said this is gross and weird, and everybody else on Twitter was like, "We're from Twitter. I love children. <laughs> we support." people being themselves my hero academia is my favorite anime yeah so I that children. <laughs> so yeah i stumbled upon that article earlier and like like i said most people were pretty civil about it but that one about me in the abyss i was just like no dude you are you did not watch the show i just don't get where that keeps coming from either like it does either. not make sense it, you just didn't watch the show even, or you're picking up on the wrong fucking part it's not even like that's a common thing like I think it happens twice or three times throughout the entirety of two full seasons and a movie. And that's what you choose to, like, pick up on. Exactly. Not like, you know, the grotesque it's, death scenes yeah, and people like, melting. You're, you're focusing on such a minuscule thing. Now, if you said, fuck, I would do anything for Ozen, I'd be like, I agree. There's no way. Yeah, I might have to agree. Mommy Ozen, 100%. Huge. Big. Massive, even. She's catching it. Yeah, I thought that was an interesting little topic. It's a cringe little topic. That dude's cringe. Yeah. Whoever posted it. Tip, on a scale from 1 to 10, how cringe would you say he is? He's like an 11, man. Oh, shit, He's dude. He's probably the same person preaching about everything we were talking about earlier. Didn't someone probably say the same it. thing about summertime rendering? Is someone did. Yeah, they did. They did. They said there was too much. That comment I showed you guys. Yeah. I, I don't know if he was gaslighting or not, but he said it was uh, too... It was a rom-com. Yeah, he's like, oh, it's, uh, I'm not a big fan of rom-com. It's so far from a rom-com. Where the fuck did you get comedy from that show? Romance, yeah, I can kind of get. But comedy? I guess the first episode where they get shot in the head. That really yeah. sells the rom-com for me. Turn yeah, me true. Or, you know, the beginning opening scene of the guy going to his fucking best friend's funeral yeah it's, it's hilarious funny, yeah it's really it's great you've never laughed at a funeral <laughs> <laughs> well, i do all the time it's just i just go to them to laugh like i just find out where they're <laughs> happening <laughs> I like to think there's the kind of guy that walks up to like a church during a funeral oh like Bashes open the door, laughs as loud as humanly possible. <laughs> <And> dips. <laughs> Genuinely. Like a real belly laugh. Everybody in the fucking like pews and everything fucking crying their eyes out because some dude just came in and started laughing and he just leaves. Just turns around and walks away. <laughs> just a simple rom com. <laughs> yeah, I go to them just to laugh. Dude, viewers <clears throat> have such bad takes. Yeah, absolutely they atrocious. Do. Everyone's and just trying to be like is perfect human like yeah i don't i don't do anything wrong i call out everything bad everything to me is bad and the other thing that confuses me with them is that every single time they have a bad take on a show it's obvious they haven't seen the show yeah yeah i heard uh i heard something about this show and i'm gonna preach about like i watched it yeah or like you just watch the shit that you're looking for yeah it's bad. People, Twitter's the worst out of man. That's such I, a. I, I hate actually, Twitter so much. Uh, I watched the show, and it turns out I'm not a fan of the genre that the show's from. So I think it was dog shit. So everything about that whole thing, I'm gonna say, is really bad. I'm gonna say the entire anime industry is disgusting and really bad. So but Netflix watched, is cool. Cuties is I fine. Watched, I've watched all of One Piece, but when I went and watched Horimiya, it wasn't like One Piece. I hated it, so uh, it's a bad show, because it's not like One Piece. Miyamura didn't have floppy arms, so therefore he was <laughs> sexualized in a wrong way. <laughs> he, he didn't extendo arm, Mr. Fantastic. I'm, I'm angry, that's Elastigirl. so I'm going to make a tweet. Elastigirl. Yeah, no, no one says anything about The Incredibles. Yeah. <laughs> no, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, they do a lot. <laughs> Don't degrade it, though. They're like, yeah. I'm pretty Fine. sure you can find a lot of porn of of Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> That's fucked up. I think there's a lot of Elastigirl porn out there. I'm I get, there's more than like certain. a crazy amount. 
Yeah, so I'm pretty sure people talk about it enough, just not where you're looking. Just not in a negative way. Like, no. I'll agree, there's there's hot takes in animated things that I'm like, yeah, it's, that's not in great taste. But to say, like, all is, I'm like, no, you're just you're just gaslighting. Yeah, like I said, it's the worst when people don't realize they just watch a show that's not meant for them, and they just want to mm -hmm. call it bad. It was yeah. a... Shit, I brought that up, or like... Another week ago, about a show that aired recently, and they were just like, "This, this was bad." And everyone was like, "Your opinion is just wrong. You just didn't like it." Is it just one person? Oh, it was saying that, it? Um, no, it was that fucking thing of a uh, planet that planet. Oh yeah, yeah. Planet. I ended up reading all of that, and everybody you that did? responded to that guy was saying, "Dude, you just didn't like the genre of this show." And he's like. No, I liked a lot of slow shows. It, 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 I like slow uh, story-based shows. It's just this one was bad. And I was like, your opinion is just wrong. That's, like, it is actually just a wrong opinion. That's like me saying, like, I don't like Marvel movies very much, but a lot of people do. And I would think millions of people's opinions on a movie versus my one that says, no, this is just garbage. It trumps me. Like, yeah. I just don't like Marvel. It's Wait, just or, not we're talking about Twitter. Too. You can't say Trump. They'll get mad. Oh, shit. I'm going to get kicked <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I, they're coming. <laughs> Lock your windows and doors. Guys, there's a ladder outside of my window. What do I do? <laughs> they're breaking in. Yeah, I agree. It's like... just Yeah, like, I don't like if Marvel, you say, if but you I'm not going to say, say the, it's if bad. You, yeah, if you say the grass is blue and you have a million people saying, no, it's actually green. Like, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong. Just accept it and move on. Just like, admit, okay. Yeah, just admit you don't like that. It's not your cup of tea, but you can acknowledge when something is good. Like, there's plenty of stuff that I don't like, but I acknowledge that because a lot of people like it, I think it's good. Yeah. 86, I, we... I don't. I think 86 is the one thing I don't understand how people actually think is, like, genuinely super good. I, I, can, I can see with the first season... The second, like, one, the second is one is where they lost just, me. Yeah, the second one didn't do it. First season, like, you have to admit, the great. first season was man. I was hyped as fuck watching that. I was season. too. I was really liking it. I was like, this is a cool, cool concept. I also don't think like, the show's sad at the end. I don't know why everyone's like it's one of the saddest shows I ever I, watched. I what, was, not, the what was the ending again? I, I fucking forget I, what the ending. I, I, I don't fucking remember. Um, they were in the field. Alert, I guess with the flowers, they were in the field. The thing and Malays came back. Malays came back and dipshit guy that kills people met her for the first time and then they went off to fight the superhuman robot people or whatever the fuck it was i think that show had a lot of potential but it just like they fucked it, it up it fell in yeah. season two i agree i agree concurred yeah so that's one i don't get i i i agree with i agree with you luke i, I would fight pretty tooth and nail to say like i'd be like listen look at this objectively like do you really think that the second season made any sense. It's like the people that think Darling the Franks is good. Honestly. Like, it, I'm sorry. I, it, it's I've, the ending. It's, it's not. Your it opinion should. is whatever. It is not a good show. Elf, it's, it, did the, it did the same thing as 86. 12 episodes, it was fine. But they they went too long. They, they're they like yeah the let's, they, they really they bad. fucked up in the second half really bad it, it shouldn't have existed and if it did they should have thought about it more and they should have had just one animation company do it instead of tossing it off i think the other problem is that like i could state why i don't like certain shows and whether it's objective or subjective is up to whoever's listening to it I've never had someone disagree with one of my opinions and not just been like, well, you're just stupid and stinky. <laughs> like, Anytime you get an argument online, they just resort to like childish insults. They never give you actual reasons for anything. If you bring like a decent point to the table, it's hard for someone to admit that they're wrong. Like, yeah, some, no one's going to go, oh, yeah, you, you made a good point. Maybe I was in the wrong there. Or even just, like, I chose to overlook that. Like, that's fine. I'm not even going to be mm -hmm. mad at someone that chooses to overlook a point that, like, you know, is a very big plot point that ruins it for someone, but someone just ignores. Like, I don't give a shit. But, like, at least try to counter my argument or something. Like, right, yeah. at least be a little bit humble. It's very You're mature of someone to admit that you're wrong. Show. You're just saying that because you don't like the show. Like, what the fuck? So you're right. I don't like the show, and that's why I'm giving you my like, reasons. 
valid reasons as to why I didn't like it. Yeah, there's my reason. Now tell me why I should think otherwise, and I might change my opinion and see it in a different light. Or yeah. I won't, we can choose to agree to disagree. No one likes to talk anymore. They just like to argue. No one That's listens they anymore. They, That's if you're it. saying no something, they're, they, you say one little thing, and then that gets them rambling on their point, how they're going to counter-argument the one thing you said, but your argument is significantly longer and has a lot more sustenance than that, and they focus on the one thing to pick at instead of listening to what you're actually saying and taking it into account and then going from there. Yeah, if only it gets super heated, like really quick. <laughs> Luke is frozen on this on this face. Oh, jeez, he is. He's just frozen on that face. <laughs> He's like, mm. <laughs> oh, I, I'm gonna send. How long? I gotta get a snap. I'll try real quick too. Hold on. Yeah, He's got, just got frozen him. there. Got him in 4K. <laughs> Drop that to him. He's frozen. Oh no, where'd he go? Oh wait, he's back. Luke, hey, you're Luke back. Check Snapchat. <laughs> Open Snap. <laughs> Open Snapchat. Have you not heard me say a single word you, this whole no, time? No, you were frozen no, for not like a, a word. minute. Open oh, snap. I heard you guys the entire fucking time you were saying Did you? that. Did you? The entire time. There's not a single moment that I did not hear you. I told you to get better internet at least six times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were said, frozen. You with guys like the suck. Case. Get better internet, and I kept saying that, thinking you guys were just choosing to ignore me. I'm I'm gonna no. I'm gonna take a piece of cake that we just we just baked here and say, Luke, your argument is perfectly valid. You have better internet. We need to do better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not really an opinion. This is a yeah. fact. <laughs> it's 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 not. It's your opinion, man. My internet is perfectly fine. I can get on Google. And I can look yeah, at can whatever I want. <laughs> That's it. So you should have just ended there. I can get on Google. That's it. I have Steam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I have a graphics card. You got a mm -hmm. problem? Integrated. Did I, did I tell you guys about when we asked Brandon about it once? About Brandon what? was like, I have a computer. And he said, oh, yeah, what like what kind of graphics card do you have? And he goes, I have one, yeah. And that was it. He, <laughs> he, it wasn't even like it was a joke either. He refused to say anything more. He's like, yeah, I've got a graphics card, and I've got RAM. And I was like, well, what kind? He's like, oh, I got it. <laughs> it's, it's there. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what the fuck do you want me to say? Oh, I got it. Man got me. He got me good. I got he's, got. He's a I, funny guy. I don't did. Dan. Get got got. Oh, he's he's big got got. for me now. Yeah, big shouts to Brandon yeah. on his new job. That's huge. Yeah, North Carolina. Biggest shout Do you know uh, where where in North Carolina is it? Like east it's or west? It's central. Central? Yeah, because it wouldn't be six hours for me if it was in, on the east coast for sure. I, I want to say it's closer to central, like somewhere near Charlotte or Cary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big shouts to Brandon. Uh, Charlotte's pretty south. Yeah. It's like right on right 77, by, uh, I think. Yeah, right, but right before South Carolina border. It might be closer to Cary. I don't remember. I'm not sure. Either way, that's based. I can't read. I don't know. I can't read. I can't read. I can't write. I can't arithmetic. Don't try to argue me about anime I like. I will tell you, you are just wrong. I do not care about your opinion. Everything I do is correct. Everything you do is wrong. End I am Twitter. of story. My hero fans, you just like children. Shut up. One Piece fans. Oogie Boogie, an actual plot. Now you're scared, dumbass. <laughs> I can't keep that up. <laughs> Tip, roll us out of here before we say something bad. All right, guys. Luke. Don't show marry me. There you go, free, buddy. Free. 100% free. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> free. 100% free. If you liked anything from the episode, please comment, like, and subscribe. Share the podcast if you found anything interesting or informative. Uh, we do appreciate that. Uh, we will see you guys next week on the hello harm podcast and don't forget that we will be at fan expo cleveland march 24th through the 26th so you can come and say hi booth 231 the mecon boys will all be there uh get some for us to sign because we'll sign it for you so oh, i want to sign a mousetrap sign a mousetrap i think someone brings us a copy of mousetrap to sign <laughs> yeah. i'm signing it oh yeah so that's the end of today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week on another episode.